Chris Crone here with Limitless Wealth TV and today we're talking about how to negotiate the price for real estate. Hey everybody, it's Stephen Michael Miller and we are here with Chris Crone and Limitless TV and how to negotiate a property. Dude, that was my line. Yeah, but you almost gave me a wet willy. Okay, but I didn't. Let's do this. Okay, so how do you do this? How do you negotiate a property? This is one of those things I think everybody who gets started in real estate wants to know, I want to get the best deal, so how do I make it happen? So if you want to negotiate the best deal, you got to understand how negotiating is going to go down. First of all, in our real estate world, people are normally represented by realtors. Yeah. Steven, for example, he's one of our in-house resident realtors. Yep. So if Steven is my realtor and helping me negotiate a property, that means that I'm the buyer, and if Nate, who's filming this, he's a seller, Nate's got a realtor. And so basically, his realtor and my realtor, they're going to get together, and they're going to be having conversations back and forth. Now, that's what the negotiating world looks like, and here's how it typically goes down. Steven, I want that property, and I want to get it for hundred grand. so I want to offer... Um, 70. Let's offer 70. Sure. So here, here maybe it's list, let's say it's listed for 120, right? Chris will come in and he'll offer 70. I'll submit the offer for 70. The client will come back and say, that's ridiculous. Uh, this thing is at least worth 115. So we'll do it for 115. And then he says, well, I don't want it for 115. I want it for 80. So I'll go, and you get this back and forth and back and forth. Now, and back every, and forth. every back and forth is going to cost you 48 to 72 hours. Because yep. every contract comes with a you deadline. Have 48 hours to respond, or else this is no longer a good offer. Valid contract. And so what will happen is, is I'm, I'm going to mess around with lowballing, and then it's good, two days later, the contract's going to come yep. back to me, and then it's going to come back here. And we're engaging in this pathetic game. Meanwhile, someone else sneaks in like a thief in the night. And what they do is they talk to the realtor, they do all the negotiating verbally, and they end up snatching it out from under you, let's just say at whatever price it's gonna go for. And meanwhile, you are playing the offer game back and forth. The deal's done, the, the deal's gone. You don't have time to mess around in real estate with playing the traditional game when we're talking about a high stakes good deal. Yeah, I have this happen actually just this week. I had someone contact me and they said, Steven, I wanna buy this home. Here's what, here's my offer would be, would you talk to the, the sellers? Before they wrote up the contract or anything, I went to the sellers and I said, absolutely, here's what we're doing. Would you take that? They said, yes, but I need this, that, and the other. She said, but I need this. So before we even went to contract, kind of what you're saying right now, we had it already under contract pretty much. And we had it all verbally worked out so that it was seamless, it was easy, and you got out of the games. Guys, let me just tell you real quick, negotiation, although I know a lot of you probably think it's about the game, and there may be, even be some of you that love the game, right? I wanna, I wanna see how well I can work this person down and get the very lowest price that I possibly can. The reality is you can avoid so much time wasted and so much effort wasted by just getting into the negotiation process with your highest and best. Talk about the highest and best for just a moment. These are the two tips that we want to roll out for you. The first one is highest and best, which is if you're going to play like a real real estate investor, then you just start out with the price. Instead of playing the high-low game, just jump in and communicate, this is my price and this is my best price. Highest and best essentially says, hey, I'm a professional, I know what I'm doing, I'm not here to mess around, I don't wanna play the, and by the way, when Steven submits that, we're looking for a 24 hour turnaround time. Yep. So that first thing just basically says, hey, we're gonna give you a real number here, this is, the, we've done our numbers, we know where we need to be at, and here's the beauty of playing this game. If they come back and say no dice, or we can't even be anywhere near that, then you don't wanna get stuck in the game anyway, yeah, you gotta go and hunt down the next deal that you actually yeah. wanna do. So just get real with people instead of playing the game. Tip number two that's really important is do everything verbal first. Yeah, this, this verbal is so important. Uh, we don't want to get caught in the minutia of going back and forth like we said before. We kind of already mentioned this just a little bit, but, but that verbal communication is super important. As much as you can get caught up in the contracts and the writing and making it official, before you do that, just have a real conversation. If you're, if you're an investor and you're working without a realtor, then just talk to them. Say, hey, here's what I'm looking to put in. This is my highest and best. Is this something that's even in the realm of consideration for you? If they say yes, we're, it's in the realm of consideration, then 
you may have something to work with there. Then get after it and talk about it and say, well, what will that look like? I could go up to here, but I would need this much in closing costs or, or I could go down here with a little bit less or you can do all that verbally before you get into it and actually submit the offer so that when you do, it's solid and it's going to be accepted. And like Chris said, 24 hour turnaround time, you're done. So a really good realtor actually knows how to get behind closed doors and have a real conversation that says, all right, let's be honest. Let me tell you what my buyer really wants for this. Where's your seller really at? What are you guys really able to do? Let's just find out whether we can make something happen. All of those pre-negotiations that happen verbally leads to submitting a piece of paper that goes back and gets an approval right out of the gate. And we just skip the entire game. Meanwhile, while everyone else is messing around trying to play this low ball offer game, we're just getting business done. I want to talk about this real quick. Um, I went to go buy a car recently. And uh, when I sat down with the car salesman, yeah, I was I was waiting. I was waiting for the typical scenario. And I sometimes, you know, negotiation can be fun. Maybe, maybe you get a little high out of that. And I'm, I was waiting for it. I was like, okay, this is because you hear about used car sales guys, right? And, and <laughs> that whole industry, not just used cars, but any, any car sales, you kind of, you've heard about the industry and kind of gets a bad rap sometimes. And I go in there and I sit down and he tells me his price. And I say, you know what? I really love it for this price. And, and I was, I was low balling a little bit. I was kind of playing that game. Uh, and I said, you know, I'd really love it for this price. And he said, well, we won't go to that price. This is our lowest price. You can check the internet. You can check everywhere around. This is the best price that you're going to find for this vehicle. And, I, and he said, and we don't negotiate. Like he said that to me. He said, we just don't negotiate. And I said, okay. And I, I was trying to play hard to get, right? So I said, okay. And I turned around and said, I'll, maybe I'll come back. We'll see. You know, and, and I left. And when I, when I left, I went home, did my due diligence on this vehicle. And he was right. It was, it was the best price for the vehicle that I could find anywhere. I mean, anywhere of anything even cl close or similar. And so I came back and I said, you know what? I, I, I changed my attitude and my idea about it. It was awesome to have someone come up with full integrity and say, no, we've done all the research. We've done all the due diligence. We are professionals. This is our lowest and best that we can go. And if that works for you, great. And if it doesn't, that's okay. And I'll tell you, I ended up buying the car from him. So. <laughs> so I want to tell you, I want to give you one last final bonus for this video, which is make sure you don't lose a fantastic deal over a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. You need to get really clear on what your real price is. It's not about how good of a deal you can get. It's about knowing what the deal is that you need. And it's about getting to that point and whether you can or can't. I got to tell you that I've lost many deals over $500 and over a thousand dollars because I got lost in the game of, of, of also being really attached. And you said something really important there, Stephen. You evaluated your reevaluated your attitude and you went in and you changed it. Yep. For me, when I go in on a deal, I know what I want, I know what my lowest is. And once I start that negotiation, my goal is to get it done as quick and as fast as possible inside those parameters. And if I've done that, then I've come out a winner. So know your numbers, know where you need to be at, go in for the negotiation, and remember today's two tips. The first one is present your best offer and make sure you communicate that you're not here to mess around, that that is your best offer. And then the second one is get as much negotiating as you can done verbally before you actually start submitting paperwork. And that, my friends, is how the cookie crumbles. And that, my friends, is how you negotiate real estate. Would you like to get your hands on piles and piles and piles of really good, already pre-negotiated real estate? Click the link up here and look into our done-for-you system where you can plug right in and my team will give you all the deals and build your portfolio for you.